that's my topic for today. It's really just the love yourself bit. Um, but it was something that was kind of a topic yesterday for me. And it was something that was... No shush chair. Something that was bothering me yesterday. Um, because there, there was just a comment in my family where it was... It took me by surprise and it kind of brought back feelings and emotions that I had put behind myself. Um, where in high school I really didn't like myself. I actually really kind of hated myself and I hated the people I was friends with. Like, don't get me wrong, there are people that I love who I'm friends with and I was friends with and... I just hated myself for accepting whatever they wanted to do and whatever they wanted because there are some of them who I truly don't know how I could have been friends with them and been happy. Um, but it really was because I was unhappy and I was not being fair to myself nor the people I was friends with. Um, at least I'm sure you can imagine some of these people. and. I know you know some of these people I actually do really care about, and I wish we were still better friends. Um, but what happened was my two groups of friends got together, and then they both split up. And I was left, like, if this is the groups, it was split, but let's leave Kathy in the middle all by herself. And that was something that was really hard for me, because I had always had a group of friends. I had always had at least... A good best friend um, and to then be left all on my own was really hard um, but it was something that I think was really good for me and to spend that alone time by myself was good for me um, especially because later that summer it, this would have been like six months later I found out well my family found out that my dad had cancer and that was something that I had to kind of go through on my own, and I had to grow up on my own, and I had to figure out how I was going to deal with it, and how I wasn't going to rely on people for help. Um, and it was a very good... People I'm friends with like to make fun of me. They they like to call me a nerd, and they like to to say I'm a weirdo, and all that and I'm perfectly fine with that like yes I did go to Harry Potter world and I did buy a wand and I am so excited about it um, yes I do have a shirt that says nerd on it yes I do like to wear my three my 3d glasses with the lens popped out around the house because they make me feel cool with myself <laughs> if anyone else looks at me they look at me like I'm a freak um, but I'm actually the happiest I've been in a very long time, probably since grade school, and that's because starting in middle school I just started lying to people and I lied to myself about how I felt and how I wanted the world to see me, and I'm very disappointed in myself for that, and I have just started getting back to where I was, where I was a nerd back then too, like, I was a girl who did... <laughs> Um, Lord of the Rings live-action role-playing with her friends and had all the Burger King toys at her friend's house and we would play for hours and can only play mm, Super Nintendo Mario because I am so uncoordinated and I am so happy with being that person. I am happy with being the person who watched the entire Buffy series in less than a month in about 22 days. Um, I'm happy being the person who just finished The Hunger Games in pretty much a weekend. I finished the second book in less than 24 hours, went out and bought the third book, and finished it within the next day. Um, because I loved it, and it was so good, and I love being a person who gets obsessed with these things, and falling so in love with the, the characters, and the story, and everything, and I couldn't be happier. And I've just... <laughs> People call me whatever they want, and I just kind of laugh, and I say, yeah, I am. Like, is that a problem? I'm perfectly happy being who I am, and I don't see a problem with people expressing themselves. Uh, I look really bright. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but also, I noticed, or I didn't really notice, I kind of sensed at the end of choir today 
um, when Mr. Kesselman was talking that you were getting a bit upset. I mean, everyone was getting a bit upset. Um, but it also made me think about how we don't really, we don't really have any serious conversations anymore. And I really, I think we should. I think that, I think we're at a point in our friendship where we should be able to have conversations like that. Um, and I, I think we should have another alternate ending of Rent, um, cry fest because that was a lot of fun and we were, what, freshmen when that happened? We're freshmen again. We, we're, we're entitled to a, a freshmanly cry fest, I guess. Um, so I think, I think we should do that before you leave for the CAR season over the summer. Okay? Sound good? It is April 27th, 2011. It's actually Josh's birthday, so Josh, if you ever see this, happy birthday! I love you! We both do. We were talking about how we miss you a lot.